Oh, yes, 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 yes. Please stay pinned. Okay, if you guys are wondering how easy it is to catch a fish this time of year, let me just show you this. It's that easy. It is literally that easy, boys. First cast of the day, and it's that easy. And check out this fish right here, boys. We have got us a nice, beautiful smallmouth bass, just like that. And that's how we're starting the day off right there, boys. Two, two and a half pound smallmouth bass. That is how easy it is to catch a fish. And I'm gonna show you guys what we're doing and why it's that easy to catch these fish right now. It is the best time of year to fish, and you guys don't wanna miss out on this one. Let's get that fish back in the water right there. Beautiful small eight. So boys and girls, it is spawn season here in Southwest Michigan. And what we're doing here today is we're fishing an ultra clear lake. And I'm gonna show you guys how to catch these fish and why they're so easy to catch right now. Okay, so first things first, today's video is brought to you guys by Catchco Baits. And we caught that first smallmouth bass on this little biospawn plasma tail on a little drop shot rig. So this is gonna be one of our key players today. And also the Ned rig is gonna be one of our key players. But let me show you guys what we're looking for. How did I catch that fish and why was it so easy? Because what happened is I sight fished that fish because they're all spawning right now. So we're gonna start going down the bank and what you're looking for is you're not actually looking for a fish usually. What you're looking for is either a really dark spot or a really light spot in the sand, depending on what the bottom content is. It's usually whatever looks different. But we should run into some big ones today. That's the plan, that's the hope, that's the dream. So we're gonna keep chugging along here and try to find some big old bass. There we go. Second one of the day. There was a tiny little bed right in front of that dock, but this is like the size of the one that I missed. This is how easy it is, guys. Usually any single one of these little light spots, these little circles that you cast on, you will catch a fish immediately. It is dumb. Okay, so we made a little bit of an error because right when I roll up to the launch, I saw that fish on a bed and I assumed that there was gonna be bedding bass everywhere and that's just not the case. So we're gonna take this little plasma tail off here because this is usually what I use for bed fishing. I like that little bit of chartreuse on the tip. It really gets them going. And we're gonna put on this little watermelon seed one. And we're gonna start fishing the break line, which is where a lot of these fish are probably set up waiting to move up on beds, but just not quite there yet. This is still an extremely easy time of year to catch bass, as y'all are about to see. Probably not quite as easy when they're all up on beds, but all we're gonna do is we're gonna take this little drop shot and we're gonna start casting it in all these dark areas to the right. So when the fish start to spawn, they're gonna move up here on the sand, make their beds, do their thing. But right now I'm thinking that most of them are right out here in this slightly deeper water. So making changes is what fishing is all about. And we just made one that I think is gonna get us a bunch of fish inside of the boat here real quick. There we go, right off that break line. That's the little adjustment that we needed to make really quick. Not a big one, but we're gonna keep chugging along this break line right here and hopefully get into some big smallmouth and largemouth. Nice little 10 incher. Not quite the little bed fishing day that we were hoping for, but you could still catch so many fish working down the break line in that slightly deeper water. These fish wanna get up and spawn, but they're just not quite there yet. That subtle change to that watermelon red fleck and awesome clear water color and casting out a little bit deeper and almost instantly put that little fish in the boat right there. There we go, off that break line. Feels like a slightly better one. Running right at the freaking boat. See, these fish right here, they're set up in about 15 foot of water and they just aren't quite ready. The water temperature is a lot colder than I thought. It's only 53 degrees and largemouth typically spawn in like 60 to 65 degree water. So they're really not even close. The smallmouth bass, they're known to get up in 50, 55 degree water. So I guess it wasn't too surprising that that smallmouth was on a bed right when we rolled up, but I thought that these largemouth were gonna be up shallow cruising around and it seems like they're off this break out here. But nice solid little pound, pound and a half right there. Starting to figure them out, like I said, had to switch up the game plan, but this little drop shot is an absolute killer. And I think that we're gonna freaking continue to tear these fish up. Like I said, I would not be surprised if we caught a big pre-spawn female out here in like 15 foot of water. Okay, caught a few more little ones on this little biospawn plasma tail, but we're gonna try out the Ned Rig, just see if it's doing anything better or worse or if it makes no difference at all. So we're gonna bust out the old Sakoshi bug, hook it up on a little one six ounce net rig, start throwing this around the break. There is like a 99.99% chance that there's a bass underneath this dock. 
Gonna put the old Sakoshi up in there and find out. Yep, and there it is. There it is. Might as well have set 100 because I knew it was gonna happen. Nice, solid little largemouth. I told you we were gonna skip around some of these docks. And the Ned Rig's just a little bit better because I could actually get it up underneath there. You already know that I love me, the OG Ned. If you guys are longtime viewers of the channel, it is one of my go-to baits. I've caught massive smallmouth, but this little Sakoshi bug is way better at skipping underneath docks. I think it's just because it has a little bit broader, bigger profile than that original Ned Rig. And I could get this thing in and around docks like crazy compared to the original Ned. Okay, gotta do it. This wind is freaking asking for it, guys. Really wanted to throw the drop shot, but this wind is begging me to throw this jerk bait right now. Literally begging me. Anytime you get a little bit of chop on the water, this time of year, the jerk bait's the freaking move. So let's see how this goes. There we go. On that jerk bait, right off this windy point right here. Pretty much absolutely textbook. What do we got? Oh, is, is it a smallie? No, it's a largey. Nice little large mouth on that Guggen Squad Scout right off the tip of this windy point. We have been plugging along, catching quite a bit of small fish, but nothing too crazy on this jerk bait. But we're gonna get this fish off and we're gonna get back in there, but we do not wanna get these treble hooks in our hands. So we're gonna use these little ego pliers. If you guys wanna check these out, freaking awesome fishing pliers gonna be in the link down below. I don't play around with treble hooks, especially with the smaller fish. You would think with the smaller fish, you wouldn't need to use the pliers, but that's actually the ones that are the most feisty and you feel the most confident. So you have the best chance of getting the hook in your hand, but nice little, 12 incher on that Guggen Squad Scout right there. Get her back in the water. Still have not found any big ones. The biggest one was that one that we caught first freaking cast, like a nice two pound smallie right off the bat. And since then, all we've caught is little squeakers. There we go, right in front of that dock on the drop shot. Be a halfway decent one, come on buddy. She's fighting really hard, but I could see her and she really doesn't look that big. <laughs> Gosh, dang it. Just can't find one of those big pre-spawn mamas. Pulled out that little bio spawn on the drop shot once again, flipping around this point and pulled out another little pounder, but do not know where the big ones are. They should be pushing up. We are gonna find them though. We're gonna keep plugging along, picking these docks apart, picking this break apart. We're gonna find a big one. It's all about experimenting. Since I've been out here, I've thrown like four or five different bait. I've pretty much fished from two foot of water out into 20 foot of water. And I've caught fish doing a lot of different stuff, but I'm still trying to find that little magic bullet. Where are those big fish? What are they eating? And how the heck can I get them in the boat? There we go. Off that break line. Does, oh, it is a decent one. I almost thought it was a big one for a second. It's not, it's small, oh my goodness. Why the heck did you just look like a four pounder for about two seconds? And you just threw my weight somewhere. I kind of heard it and now I see that it's gone. What the heck? She just threw my weight off. I don't know where the heck it just went. I heard it fly back here somewhere. Probably landed in the water. All right, well, see that later, I guess. We are good as new again. Freaking 10 incher just stole our dang drop shot weight. There we go. Right off the tip of that point there. Come on. Get bigger. It's been a dink fest all day. Oh, yep. That's a halfway decent one, boys. That's a halfway decent one. It just took us like freaking five hours. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Please stay pinned. On that biospawn plasma tail drop shot, just right off the tip of this little tapering point, we have finally got ourselves a nice little largemouth here. She is beat up. Look at that side on that fish. Get in the net here, mama. Hello, how's it going? Oh my goodness, she got freaking railed by a pike. Check out those battle wounds on her side. That looks fresh as heck. I think she just got clocked by a pike like within the last couple days here. Look at how fresh those wounds are on her side. You can literally see the blood. Throwing that drop shot finally paid off. That fish was only in about eight foot of water too. Not super deep, not super shallow. And I would say that's probably where I've been fishing the least. I haven't really been covering that mid-depth zone. I've been fishing either in like 15, 20 foot of water or up in like two foot of water, but I don't know. It seems like there's a little bit more weeds over here. 
who, who the heck knows? I really don't know what's going on out here, guys. We've had a few cold fronts roll through and it's got these fish so weird. They're, they're in such a funk right now because they want to spawn so bad. And I thought that they would be on beds, but the water temperature is still 54 freaking degrees. So gonna mess around some more with this mid depth, try to catch a few more fish, but it's been an interesting day out here to say the least. There we go. I think that it might be a bed right there. We haven't really seen a ton of beds, but I could have swore to God that was a bed. I cast it up there and this fish was out immediately. Not a terrible one too. Probably just a little buck bass that moved up. But this is what we were trying to do all day is catch some bed fish. Haven't been able to do it. And finally, a little pounder. Nothing too crazy, but I swear to God, I think that one was on a bed. So that's gonna be it for today's video. It was not the bed fishing day that we were expecting, but the bed fishing is coming very soon, guys. We had that weird cold snap. It kind of pushed everything back a little bit, but they're coming. We have some really warm weather on the way and they're about to move up in a very big way. So expect some really cool bed fishing stuff coming your way. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys wanna pick up any of the baits that we were using in today's video, it's all gonna be linked down below. But that's all I have for you guys today. So I will catch you guys in the next video.